VPP President Arden Basayomwat today stated that the party will not be forming an alliance with other political parties in the opposition. He said that since the ideology of the VPP varies from that of the two national parties, AITC and INC, and therefore they will maintain their identity in the assembly. Right from day one, uh, the day when the results were out, we have made our stand very clear that we will not under any circumstances be part of NPP led government. So in the next day, there was an attempt by the United Democratic Party to initiate in order to be able to have a regional led government to be led by the United Democratic Party. However, that could not be uh, that could not take place. So from our side, we have already made it clear that if if we cannot succeed in bringing a regional party government, we will stay in the opposition. We will perform the role of an opposition party. So have you decided uh, from the opposition, will you also unite with uh, the other league? No, no, I think we will maintain our own identity as a separate identity as a party because uh, we may have some clashes on issues, so we don't want to... But we will work on issue base. When you come to the ideology of Polka Party, especially the regional party, I think we we share almost the same ideology, the same principle. So, know? but TMC and Congress. Oh no, no, no! Because we we are not uh, uh, we have not formed an alliance in the opposition, so we will maintain a separate identity even in the house. So, what uh, for VPP, sir? How do you see your the entry of VPP in assembly this time? I think the entry of VPP will will change the atmosphere because VPP believe you know our way of believing in politics is different. We don't believe in money power, okay? We don't believe in betrayal, and we don't believe in the, you know, in the spreading lies and hatred. So it is going to be different, definitely. So VPP and its manifesto had two very uh, a bit controversial topics. So with the state reservation policy and also. It is not a controversial, you know. You just need to streamline, because since the the birth of the state. Uh, this, uh, the leaders have not been able to streamline, you know, to streamline and uh, ensure that this uh, policy is not discriminating, you know, uh, against anyone. So we feel that we need to, to streamline, we need to relook at the view in order to ensure that there will be no discrimination against anyone. So I don't think it is uh, controversial in the sense that uh, um, it will affect the the state but we just need to ensure that in order to maintain peace and harmony in the state these kind of issues needs to be taken up seriously by the state government so will you take this up in this assembly yeah, definitely this? definitely it is there in the manifesto so we will we will not leave any issue that we have mentioned in the manifesto